My wife and I uh, were the founders. Um, Jen is the executive director here on a day-by-day -day basis. Uh, we realized that there was a need for um, some facility for homeless men. There was no facility in town for a homeless man to go to. And we got together with uh, six other residents in the city and uh, incorporated Samaritan Ministries, raised funds, purchased this building, renovated the building. That was about an 18 month process and then uh, opened in uh, November 2007. Uh, we provide the basics, uh, uh, food, shelter, lodging, uh, clothing, uh, at no cost to the men. Uh, those are the, the number one things that we do. Uh, additionally, um, we're focused more on the long term than the short term. Uh, we we want to meet those immediate needs uh, for homeless men, but we're really focused on uh, the long term, helping that man get off the street, helping him address what the issues are. Is it uh, uh, addictions in his life? Is it loss of job, finances, marriage problems? What What is going on? So. They have a thing here where you get uh, 15 days in the winter when it gets cold. Normally it's 10 when it's warm, 10 free days to stay overnight, you know. And if you show that you're trying to get a job, or, you know, they have a piece of paper, they fill out, it's three things. You have the manager of each place you went to sign that to show you were looking. And if you get that signed, they'll give you an extra night for free. Once you start working, they give you 45 days free to save your money up and get your own place. Well, I've known four guys that came through here that, that did that, and they're still going strong. Uh, and then we have a resident program, uh, and that's really where we address what's going on in the man's life. If he wants to turn his life around, and get off the street, he can stay with us for six to 12 months uh, and, and work on those issues and we help him get, uh, uh, get back on his feet again. I was once a recovering meth addict and I've got five years clean this February. I started here four years ago, so being able to see these guys and where they are in their lives kind of helps me remind me where I don't ever want to be again and I want to be able to give back to them what was given to me. Consider this a job. Um, I enjoy what I do. I couldn't imagine myself. I feel like it, uh, I was put here, you know, brought to this place for this reason, to be able to help and give back. And I don't see myself being anywhere else but here helping these guys. Never thought I could change and was given a chance by the local judge, Judge Wright here in Hot Springs, and was given a chance to come to work here. And it's just made a big impact in my life. I was able to get my family back and my children and remarry my wife for 14 years. And, I, you know, life's just great. Couldn't be any better, I don't think. I'm a recovering alcoholic now, and it just hurts sometimes when I think about it, so, okay. Um, I'm a human being, just like everybody else, but I have a problem with alcohol, so. But <clears throat> Samaritan Ministries has helped me. Um, being an alcoholic, I thought God didn't want to have anything to do with me, you know, because I was a, a low life, you know. Um, but I learned differently when I came here, and he does, he wants to have a, a life with everybody. He wants everybody to believe in him, and, you know, uh, we're all equal in his world, so. Um, but I mean, it, it's it's woken me up. It's um, how can I put it? It's it's cleaned my mind up. You know, as far as the religion part of it, the Christianity, and which is great because I needed it. I didn't know that at the time. You know, I just thought, you know, like I said, I thought I was too low for him. But um, it's just changed my perspective on life. I was in the army for six years. Got out. Uh, got into drugs. You know, and. It'll take you down through there. It took me down through there. I got a wife and three kids and uh, had numerous drug charges come here and basically they taught me how to be a person again and you know got my family back together working here living next door. It's just been a blessing. We, we've served since we've been open in 2007 over 1,750 different men. Uh, we would love to say that every man is a success came in and left a success. I can't say that honestly but we have so many um, men that have come in who have said, I've had enough with staying on, living on the street, I wanna address what's going on in my life. Are uh, supported by the donations uh, of individuals, about two thirds comes from uh, individual donations, another 20% or so comes from churches in the community and the balance from businesses, organizations. Uh, so you know, any, anybody can donate, uh, we operate on a fairly slim budget. We have uh, seven employees. We're open 24-7, 365. 